how, tell me about interest, public interest, because you've seen, you know, growth of interest in the Middle East. I've seen like hookah bars and Middle East restaurants popping up everywhere in my neighborhood. Yeah, the hookah bars are really popular. Yes, they're really taking off. Yeah. And I and I noticed there's a there's an Oriental dancer at the at the club down the street from my house. Is right. that becoming? Is there more of a demand, or is there a, a more? Uh, well, actually, um, in the '80s and the '90s, um, where you know, in the '90s when I was dancing six nights a week. The nightclubs were different. They uh, had a floor show. We had a, an eight-piece orchestra. Mm. We had singers. I see. And that, I guess with the economy and after um, the war, um, after 2000, 9-11, um, I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, even before that, places started to close. But after 9-11, a lot of places closed. Yeah. And. Um, so the girls today, I don't know, they don't, they don't have the live musicians, but it's, there seems to be these places that uh, they dance in. Right, where they yeah. have recorded music. They have recorded Or maybe music. a couple yeah. of, so I, right. I think they have a couple of musicians right. that sit there. Right. But yeah. we, had, we, had, um, we had singers and, you know, mm -hmm. two, show, two shows a night. Yeah. And wow. In fact, the first place I danced in, we had an Arabic band, an international band. It was quite something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. It is amazing to dance with live music, isn't it, as yes. opposed to a recorded music. Yes. yes, rehearsing with the band, and yeah, it's very challenging, and um, mm -hmm. a whole other Well, we thing. often talk other. about collaboration when we're talking to artists mm -hmm. on the show, and um, there's so many people in terms of a live show that you would want to collaborate with the musicians, the costume person, the right. lighting right. people. Right. I mean, I noticed the lighting is a very dramatic in this piece that we were watching. Yes, yes. Yeah. So there's a lot of people that put together a show. Absolutely, especially theater. Yes. Right, and each, each individual piece is lit differently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you enjoy working with other people? Oh, yeah, it's that's why I like theater. Because I, you have I a also have a background in, um, I studied acting. And, mm -hmm. um, so, I also so you have an overall vision. I have an overall background in theater, yes. Mm -hmm. So I, I really love, I mean, even though I like I like other venues, you know, it's fun. Mm -hmm. I had fun dancing on cruise ships or nightclubs, but uh, theater is really, to me, a different level uh -huh. of art. Sure. Yeah, it's another opportunity yes. in terms of the type of audience, yes. the type of place. And yes. So it's going to take a minute, maybe play another two minutes oh, of your uh, material for folks Absolutely. who just tuned in to see what we're talking about. And this is Samara. question I have okay. after watching that. What about balance? Because I notice you bend back a lot and mm -hmm. and like bend back and twist and I mean it seems that's, like that's all part a lot of, of that's opportunity all part of the training. <laughs> yes, for losing yeah. control. Yeah, that's uh, when I train dancers I pretty much start from the beginning of body alignment mm -hmm. and how to how to find your center and balance, yeah. Balance is a big thing. And core strength so that you don't exactly. lose it when you bend exactly. out and 
That, you... was, that was called a taksim, mm -hmm. um, when an instrument comes in and plays alone. Okay. That's called a taksim. Oh, so that's right. a really beautiful part of mm -hmm. the show, where you're just relating to, and if it's a live show, you have your, your the actual musician, musician there. there. Yeah. Um, um, it's a beautiful part of the show.